Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 19 video in VCP7 data center virtualization 2020 and in this video we are going to see how to create a virtual machine clone on VMware vSpace uh, vCenter server 7 or ESXi host 7. So why we need a clone? So uh, uh, this is this is one of the most important question to understand um, why we need clones. So like, like you have a virtual machine which is running on your infrastructure and you are doing some major changes on that particular virtual machine like you are upgrading the operating system from 2012 or 2016 to 2016 to 2019 or might be you are doing some critical changes like like you, you are upgrading SQL you are upgrade, upgrading a Visual Studio or some other application which is might take long time to configure and other things so you don't want to break those machines uh, uh, in any cost so the, so the safest way to um, uh, uh, back up or uh, keep the virtual machine copy is a clone also you can do the snapshot for the easy stuff but but the the clone is most secure way to keep the your virtual machine healthy in case of anything goes wrong you can bring that clone virtual virtual machine in production and get everything stable so so there was two type of clones uh, when you say in a VMware one is a hot clone and second is a co cold clone so hot clone is a virtual machine is running and you clone the running virtual machine is going to called a hot clone and I don't recommend to uh, create a hot clone because sometimes it's going to break the things so and the second second thing is cold clone so cold clone means the virtual machine is shut down and you taking the um, virtual machine uh, clone or uh, while it's shut down so let's take the virtual machine um, environment and we'll see how to create a clone so this is my daemon environment which i have used in last video so the first machine is going to get world dc01 so this is my domain control and dns server so here is this machine so you can see active directory and dns is installed on this machine and my domain name is leftsandson.com so this is my domain controller basically second machine is my invcs70 this is my vmware vcenter server appliance 7 and you can see this is running on my v, uh, my VMware workstation and we got three ESXi hosts you can see here which is in cluster so ESXi 01 to ESXi 03 all with the for uh, two, 2 CPU and 4 uh, 32 gig of memory you can see these three are inside my VMware workstation and I got one virtual machine which is basically Windows 10 machine to get access to my VMware infrastructure so you can see I got one cluster including these three virtual machine uh, ESXi host I got one virtual machine which is running here so basically if I go with this machine this machine is running with the basically Windows Server 2016 and I'm going to clone this virtual machine and show you how how we can clone this virtual machine so this is the um, uh, for example this is a production machine and you want to clone this virtual machine so you can either go ahead and just right click and clone and you can clone to virtual machine or template or content library so this is going to be a hot clone but I recommend to go ahead and uh, always take the cold clone which is in shutdown state so I'm going to shut down this machine before executing the clone and once the virtual machine is shut down we are going to clone this virtual machine so uh, either you can clone this virtual machine in a uh, same virtual machine or you can clone in the tablet so I'm going to right click and clone in the virtual machine so click OK and I'm going to call it like win 2k 16v m02 and then I'm going to place this virtual machine inside my prod server folder so click next and you got this uh, cluster selection so I'm going to select my default cluster click next and you got the storage so this is going to be very simple so I'm going to use the thin provision thin provision and if you want to customize the hardware or op operating system you can go ahead and customize these things also so now I'll leave these things default if you want to customize hardware definitely you can customize or software you can customize so I'm going to leave everything default just click next and you can see the source virtual machine and the target virtual machine is going to be Win2K16 VM01 and the folder cluster name and the data store and it's going to be a 
basically I give you the all the disk space requirement and the disk storage thin provision so we are done just click on finish and now you will see the clone process is started here and if I bring this out you can see clone uh, copy virtual machines file is started and soon you will see this is 40 percent completed so now it will go and copy the files uh, basically virtual machine desk files so you can see that we got this virtual machine also created here and if I go to data store you will see one of the data store is going to hold the this virtual machine basically so if I go to DS02 not here DS03 maybe not here maybe in DS04 we are going to get this virtual machine so you can see this is copying here uh, VM02 you can see here the virtual disk is getting copied so this is good so this is how you can create the basically a cold clone of the virtual machine and I always recommend to go ahead and clone virtual machine in, is in cold state only because it's going to take only few minutes uh, to clone the uh, shut down the virtual machine and clone but it's going to be a most safest way to um, have a virtual machine so uh, clone so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me in my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye